In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate a conditional probability using a tree diagram. Here's the problem. A paint store sells three types of high volume paint sprayers used by professional painters. Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. Based on records, 70% of the sprayer cells are of Type 1 and 20% are of Type 2. About 3% of the Type 1 sprayers need repair during the warranty period while well, the figure for type 2 is 4% and the figure for type 3 is 5%. The first probability that we're going to calculate is the probability that a randomly selected sprayer purchased from this store will need repair under warranty. Now these are the formulas from the textbook that we would use to calculate the probability. And what I want to point out to you are some of the key words and what they mean. So notice, for this first one, we have the probability of event A or event B happening. So this would be, like an example of this might be, uh, you know, dealing um, cards from a standard deck of cards. This might be the probability that the first card is a queen or a king. Or it could be the first card is a queen or a heart. And one of the things I want to point out about those two examples is one, one situation we would have mutually exclusive events. The king or the queen or the king, there's no card in the deck that's both a king and a queen. So those two events can't happen together. Those would be mutually exclusive. But on the other hand, if we were going to calculate the probability of a queen or a heart... There is a card in the deck that's the Queen of Hearts. And so that those are two events, Queen uh, or Heart, those are not mutually exclusive. So we would have to subtract off the probability of selecting the Queen of Hearts, Queen and Heart. But the key thing to keep in mind here is when we have an or probability, we're going to add the probabilities together. And so, for example, if we were talking about uh, drawing a queen or a king, we would calculate the probability by uh, taking the probability of drawing a queen and adding it to the probability of drawing a king. So when we have or probabilities, we add. This is the for formula for uh, conditional probabilities. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this on the tree. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this formula. The other... Uh, rule I want to talk about is the multiplication rule. And notice the key word here is and. We're talking about the probability of event A and event B. Now, um, the full-blown version of this formula has this conditional probability, B given the first event was A. But if the events are independent, and this would the an example of independent events might be uh, rolling a, a pair of dice or something, and, and asking what you know what is the probability of getting a four on one die and a four on the other die or something like that. And when we're in it, when we're in that situation, the and situation, we multiply the probability. So the key thing to remember here is when we have or in our probability, we're adding. When we have and in our probability, we're multiplying. So let's go back to the problem. And like I said in the beginning, I want to do this problem using a tree diagram. So the first thing I need to do is draw, draw a tree. So the first part of the tree is going to have three branches because there are three types of sprayers. Type 1, type 2, and type 3. And the chance that the randomly selected sprayer is a type 1 would be 70% or 0.7. The chance that it's type 2 would be 20% or 0.2. And the chance that it's a type 3 would be 10%. Now, I know this is a 0.1 here because the sum of all of these uh, probabilities must be 1. Because there's no other type of printer. It's either a 1, a 2, or a 3. So, and again, think about the words. It would be... The randomly selected printer is type 1 or type 2 or type 3. Add them together. 0.7 plus 0.2 plus 0.1 is 1. 
Now off of each of these branches, I'm going to draw two more. And this is going to represent whether or not the sprayer needs repair, R for repair, or in R for no repair. So each of the sprayers will either need to be repaired or not repaired. Now, let's see, 3% uh, of type one sprayers need repair. That leaves 97% that don't. 4% of type two need repair. That leaves 96% that don't. And 5% of type three need repair, leaving 95% that don't. So this is how I would sketch out the, the tree diagram in, in, in its uh, entirety. Now, three of these branches can uh, uh, satisfy the, the specified condition here. Because again, remember, we're looking for the probability that um, the randomly selected uh, uh, sprayer needed to be repaired. So the first branch, what's the probability of this first branch happening? In, and to calculate this, I'm going to think about the word. The, the first branch represents that the sprayer was type 1 and it needed repair. So as I go along the branches here, the word that I'm thinking about is an and. So what do we do with the probabilities? We multiply them together. So the chance that this branch happens is 0.7 times 0.03. Similar, same similar kind of thing for this next branch. What's the chance that the selected uh, sprayer was type 2 and needed repair? Well, that would be 0 0.2 times 0 0.04. And finally, we have the last branch. That would be 0 0.1 times 0 0.05. Now I'm going to think about what words would be in between these prop these branches? So, so we could have a situation, or the 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 situation or the event could be uh, the sprayer is type one and need to repair, or now I'm going to use the word I'm using here is or because the next branch would be or the sprayer was a type two and need to repair, or the sprayer was a type three and need to repair. So that tells me I should be adding these three probabilities together. So the probability we're looking for, we would calculate by taking 0.7 times 0 0.03 plus 0.2 times 0 0.04 plus 0.3 times 0 0.05. And we I use my calculator to calculate this and I get about 0 0.0330. So that's the answer to the first part of the problem. Here's another question. Find the probability that two randomly selected sprayers purchased from this store will both need repair under warranty. So again, um, I'm going to think about the words here. Um, what are we looking for? We're looking for the probability. Looking for the probability that the first first needs repair so the first needs repair and that the second needs repair so the key word is and so we know that the probability of selecting a sprayer needing repair randomly would be about 0 0.034. And so since we have an and statement in our probability, we know we're going to be multiplying. And again, doing this on my calculator, I got about 0 0.001156, or about 
0.1%. It's about one in a thousand is the chance of selecting two printers, both needing repair. So here's our, our final question. Find the probability that a sprayer is a type three sprayer given that it needed repair during the warranty period. So this is a conditional probability. And I'm going to show you how I, again, how I like to do these probab uh, probabilities uh, using the tree diagram. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for the probability that the sprayer that was selected was a type 3 sprayer given that it needed repair. Now, one of the thing when I think about probabilities, one of the things that I think about is the idea that um, we need to create a fraction where the numerator is the specific event, event we're looking for and the denominator are all the po other possible events that can happen. And I, I know this is a little bit confusing to think about, but like, for example, a simple example would be like, you know, the probability of rolling a six on a six-sided fair die. Well, that's one six because one side of the die has a six and there are six sides total. So that's what I mean about, you know, the numerator being the, the number of ways the event can happen and the denominator then is all possible events. When we're dealing with conditional probabilities, the same thing's true, but the, the one thing that we want to keep in mind or that, that's important to keep in mind is we're, we're told that the, um, that the, you know, the condition we have here in our conditional probability is that the sprayer needed repair. So those are these three branches of the tree that we're talking about. The other three branches of the tree, they, they can't happen because we, we know these didn't happen. And so we're going to disregard these. So we're going to focus on this branch, this branch, and this branch. And so the denominator for this probability is going to be, I'm going to write it all out, but let's, we've already calculated this actually, 0.7 times 0.03. And notice what I'm doing here. I'm just calculating the probability for each branch of the tree. That's going to become the denominator. What's the numerator? Well, the numerator is the probability that the uh, selected sprayer is type three and needed repair. Well, that's that's wait wait that, that's this one down here. So the numerator would be 0 0.1 times 0 0.05. And again, working this all out of my calculator, the numerator is 0 0.005. The denominator we already calculated, that was the 0 0.034. Fighting those two things together, we get 0 0.147. And that's the answer. So again, just I'm going to explain this one more time. So when we are told a condition like this, that, that the uh, sprayer needed repair, that tells me to focus on the branches of the tree that correspond to that event, the, 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 in this case, the sprayer needing repair. And we disregard the other branches of the tree because we know that that's not what happened. And in the, in the textbook, this is being referred to as a partition. So if you read in, you know, far enough into, into section 7.4, what, what you'll find is there's a discussion about um, partitioning sample spaces. And that's really what I'm doing with the tree. If you look at how the tree's laid out, this is the event type 1 and repair. This is type 1 and no repair. Type 2 and repair. Type 2 and no repair. Type 3 repair. Type 
free no repair. So those six possibilities represent the entire sample space. So in effect, what I'm doing with the tree is I'm partitioning that sample space based on the condition that I was given, which is the sprayer needed repair. But for me, the tree diagram is a much more visual way to see it. Um, and, it and for me, it, it really helps me organize all the information in, in, in such a way that I can set the problem up correctly. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, please feel free to send me a message if you have any questions.